guys, welcome to my channel, welcome to the Kitty Peps channel. So I'm back again with another video and today I will be addressing a very common question to me which I thought I should put into this video and just answer some of the most basic but most frequently asked questions about my journey. So you guys know I locked my hair July of 2016, which means I am now three years into my journey. I have really, really progressed a lot in this journey and acquired a lot of length and volume um, that I do think I have something to contribute to um, the lock community and in particular in addressing products um, that I use. My lock journey has been simple from get-go. I found that this was the easiest way I could keep up with my routine because I am a bit of a lazy, um, lazy hair routine kind of girl. I don't like to hoard products. I don't have a lot of products. And I find that the more I have, the more I struggle to keep up with a routine. So, I started my locks with comb coils, which is another common question that I get. If you hear a baby crying, um, my babies are awake. So if you hear any noise in the ba background, my husband is attending to them. But anyway, um, I started my locks with comb coils. Um, and one of the things that inspired kind of these lengthy gaps in my wash routine, which I am yet to mention, is that um, from the lock advice that I'd got from a loctician was not to wash my hair until my hair had locked. Um, so I didn't wash my hair for the first six months of my lock journey and because I was able to stretch that far without having any dandruff, any itching or any scalp problems, I knew that I didn't need to wash my hair very often. Some of you may also know I suffer from PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome. If you're a woman, these are when you have cysts on your ovaries that come and go. For some people, it affects fertility, it affects hair in, in the sense that you will experience um, extreme hair shedding. Um, however, you might, if, if you have excess um, hair growth on parts of your body, which may not be desirable. By God's grace, um, I would like to believe that God really healed me because I never had any problems with conception. And as you guys know, my first babies are twins. So I really attribute that to God. Um, prior to starting my locks, I decided to cut my hair. I had achieved waist length hair. So I decided to cut my hair and start my journey again because I was tired of the excess shedding. And again, I would like to thank God because I feel like that has really, really gotten better since I started my lock journey and since I started using my products religiously. So, my routine is that I wash my locks every two to three months, which is when I retwist. I don't retwist very often for the main reason that I just think it's not very good for your locks. It potentially causes lock thinning, lock shedding, and um, it's just unnecessary pain, and I simply just don't have the time to do it. So I lock my hair, um, at rather I retwist my locks every two to three months, um, and when I do so, I only use one product, and that is the Kuzi Peps African Black Soap Crumble, which comes in this packet. So a lot of you also want to know how I use this and I will make a video on how I use it. So I literally just take a chunk of the soap and I dilute it with water and then apply that onto my scalp and onto my hair as a shampoo. This has been amazing for me because I don't suffer from dry locks and I will speak more about how I keep the moisture in my locks but this is one of the main products that I use. This contains only four ingredients, so that's palm kennel oil, coconut oil, shea butter, and um, cocoa ash. So this has been absolutely amazing for me because it contains a lot of oils, which means I get to maintain my natural oils as well as replenish my hair when it gets washed. 
so your hair will feel squeaky clean i also use this on my skin your hair will feel squeaky clean but without stripping it off its natural oils so with that said um this is what i use every day or whenever i can remember because since being a mom time is just of essence um i spritz my locks on a daily basis with the Kizzy Peps Wee Protein Leave-In Conditioner. I have started using this on my twins as well. Um, one of my twins has got about a 4C texture hair, um, which he gets from his dad. So his hair needs quite a lot of softening and, and a bit of detangling. So I mainly apply this on his hair to make sure that it's not painful for him when I do comb his hair. So this for me, um, since I have locks and we're not looking to, re to detangle, this just conditions my locks, makes sure that my locks are not dry and I don't experience any dry brittle hairs and any thinning in my locks that may cause unnecessary uh, breakage in my locks. So yeah, this keeps my locks well hydrated. As you guys know, I am from the UK. And in the UK, we have our winter for about three quarters of the year. And you need to make sure that your hair is protected from the elements. And that's the wind, the rain, the snow, whichever weather is thrown at you that day. With this moisturizer, your hair will be good to go. The last products that I use, which I'm happy to announce, is back in stock, is the Kudzi Pets repairing hair growth serum so it comes in this packaging now so um it comes in a box so you'll receive it in a box and um all you just need to do is take your product out the box you can decide whether you want to keep it or not um oh gosh i'm now struggling to take it out the box um because this is this is a fresh one that i'm opening because um I've just finished my other one. Oh my goodness. How can I struggle to open a box on camera? So it comes like this. Um, this is all you need. So literally a little go goes a long way. So it comes with an airless pump um, in a black and gold bottle. And all you just need to do is pump a few bits on your um, palm. I usually spray three or four. Um, I'm, so that's one, I've already spritzed one, two, three, four. And then the next thing, oh, this smells absolutely refreshing and divine. I massage it onto um, the palm of my hands and then I just rub it into my scalp. This contains lemon peel oil. It contains um, peppermint and it also contains um, sweet almond and the secret ingredients that's in there just to make sure that your hair does get stimulated and gets the blood flowing onto certain areas. And if you are balding or experiencing any bald patches, this is absolutely amazing for that. So as you can tell, I really go in there and as you guys can tell, I have pretty long nails. These are my nails. I have managed to grow them to this length. And so I just get gel nails on top of them. However, I do not want to get any fingers or anything caught in them because I do have a few designs on my nails. Like here, I've got some diamantes and like a shell on this nail. And then on here, I've got a petal which kind of sticks out. So how do I manage this with locks? The key is to always use these bits of your fingers. Do not use your nails to scratch. If you have been to a salon, you will know that most hairdressers really go in when they're washing like this. You don't want to do that because all that's just doing is it's aggravating your skin. Just imagine having a pimple and you're scratching it with your nail. It's just going to aggravate the skin and cause really bad scarring. So what you want to do is you want to use these bits of your nails and your palms to do the work. And by doing this, you are going to reach the areas that need to be reached. 
and stimulate the blood flow where is necessary and where is needed rather than um, actually aggravating the scalp. So once you've done that, um, I did show you guys spritzing my moisturizer. So usually what I tend to do on the days that I use the hair growth serum, by the way, I now use mine two times a week, two to three times depending on how I feel. I've always mentioned this from the beginning. The most important thing is to have a routine, to have a routine that you can stick to. You need to create a schedule. So I make sure that I um, use the serum at night only. Um, that's the best way I remember to use it. Um, on Sunday, on Tuesday, or on Thursday. I have been doing this ever since I even had my loose textured hair because that's how I keep up with my routine and I just know every Sunday, every Tuesday and every Thursday, I make sure that I use these products. And this, as I've mentioned, I use it every day or whenever I remember or even more than um, once every day if I'm doing a style. I mainly spritz it on the ends of the locks because these are the ones that I expose to the elements. However, I do go in at the scalp as well and my hair smells absolutely beautiful every time I use this product. So, I hope this video has been helpful to you guys and has answered some questions that you may have pertaining my lock journey and how I have got to where I am today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned to this channel. Don't forget to subscribe, to comment and to like. And most of all, if you are interested in any of the products that I have mentioned in this video, don't forget to head on to www.kudzipeps.com. The link will be in the description box where you can find all the products that I use on my hair as well as my skin. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. For now, take care and God bless. Bye.